Okay, so the next thing that we have here is uh, elementary operations or transformation of a matrix. Elementary, elementary operations or transformation transformation of a of a matrix and of course these have a whole lot of the whole different types of applications meaning that um, you can basically you can apply different types of transformations for example you swap the the first row with the second row the first column with this with the third column the third column with the second column and so on and so forth in order to do different things and that depends on basically of course what you're doing but these are simple op operations that you can do transformations that you can get that you can do on these matrices and of course then all of these will be um, will be uh, basically will have applications for example in vectors and in in 3d space and in 4d space in 5d space and ND space basically um, but the basics we learn here and then we will we will basically uh, we, we will we will be able to um, apply all of these concepts to other parts of mathematics as well so now there are basically six operations six operations or different types of transformation that that uh, on, a, on a matrix uh, three of these transformations are are basically you can you can call them row wise and and three of them you can call them column wise Meaning that three of them are, are actually performed on rows and three of them are performed on columns. And these are called elementary operations or these are also called transformations as we have written here, right? Up elementary operations or transformations. Now, let's go through let's go through so number one for example we have the interchange of any two rows or two columns we have the interchange of of any two rows or two columns or two columns um, so symbolically the interchange of the i and the j throws is denoted by so the if you basically the interchange of the interchange of of the i and the j for example rows is denoted by is denoted by this notation for example you can say r of i and then you swap that with r of j for example and the interchange of the ith and jth column is denoted by for example c of i c of j for example you can say that the interchange of the interchange of the of the ith column of the ith and jth column and jth column is denoted by for example is denoted by c of i and you swap that with c of j right 
And for example, as an example, we can say that, for example, applying, applying, for example, R1 swapped with R2, basically, and applying this to A, which is equal to, for example, this matrix 1, 2, 1, and negative 1 square root of 3, and 1, and 5, 6, 7, we will get so you're 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 swapping the the, the 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 first and the second rows meaning that this is the first row this is the second row so i can write that the same matrix as for example a of a of transformation of course this doesn't really mean anything i'm i'm, I'm just i'm just making up some sort of notation a of transformation for example is equal to uh, first, I need to write this this row, which is negative one square root of three one, and then the second I will write the first row, so one two one, and then five six seven, and that would be basically the matrix that you would get. Pretty simple. Of course, but of course it does have a lot, whole lot of applications in matrices. Um, not in matrices, of course, because matrices in and of themselves, they have, they have no applications. They are the kind of concept in mathematics that are used elsewhere in, in different, in different branches of mathematics. But, well, again, over there, these have a whole lot of applications. Now, the number two, is basically the multiplication of the elements of any row or column by a non-zero number. The multiplication, the multiplication of 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 uh, the elements of any row or column of the elements of of any row or column by a non-zero number by a non-zero number that is also self-explanatory meaning that for example the multiplication of each element of the i row by k as an example, for example, the multiplication, the multiplication of the, of uh, each element of the i row, each element of the i row, for example, by, by, k for example where k is not equal to zero where k is not equal to zero is denoted by is denoted by for example r of i this is the i throw gives basically k times r of i it's pretty simple you can anybody can understand this of course now the corresponding column operation is denoted by the same operation. You can say that the, the corresponding column operation is denoted by is denoted by basically C of I gives k times c of i, right? For example, as an example, applying, applying, for example, c3, that's column 3, is gives basically 1, 7 c3 to 
a matrix B, which is 1 to 1, negative 1 square root of 3, 1, we get, we get the following. So that's column 3, and you're multiplying a, a factor of 1 7 by column 3, meaning that you will get a 1 7 here, 1 7 here, meaning that B becomes basically 1 2 1 7 and negative 1 square root of 3 and 1 7. Right? So that's pretty simple. Or basically number 3, the addition to the elements of any row or column, the corresponding elements of any other row or column multiplied by any non-zero number. So this one seems to be a little bit complicated, more complicated than the other two. These are also used in uh, solving uh, systems of equations as well a lot. So the addition of the addition to the elements of any row or column to the elements of any row or column the corresponding elements of any other row or column the corresponding elements of elements of any other row or column uh, multiplied by any non-zero number multiplied by any non-zero number. So what that means is that any row or column, you have a couple, a number of elements. So um, any, for example, let's say that you have this matrix over here. You have this matrix over here. This is row 1, this is R1, and you can, you can, for example, take all of the elements of the row 3, multiply each of them, for example, by 3, and then each of them add, add that to, to, to the corresponding element of R1. And that, that, that gives you, for example, you can, you can write that as R of I, gives R of I plus, for example, K times, for example, R of J, meaning that this is the Jth column, this is the Jth row, this is the Ith row, and Ith row becomes the Ith row plus the Jth row times some scalar quantity which is, which is not equal to zero, right? Or... Um, now let me let me just follow the text. These are simple things. So the addition of the addition to the elements of the I throw to the elements of of the I throw. The corresponding elements of the jth row, the corresponding elements elements of the of the jth row multiplied by k. multiplied by k is denoted by so what we are saying is so the addition to the elements of the i throw so that means that r of i becomes r of i plus for example k times r of j right 
or the corresponding column operation for the the same type of thing but 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 that but then applied to to two columns the corresponding column operation corresponding column operation is denoted by is denoted by c of i gives c of i plus k times c of j right pretty simple things now once we work with them if if there is any anything that you that that is that is not concrete enough we will of course work with them in the examples and they will be all clear to you now for example For example, applying R to Gibbs, applying R2 gives R2 minus 2 times R1 to C is equal to 1, 2, 2, negative 1, we get so here we have R2 gives R2 minus 2 times R1, meaning that basically from R2 you subtract 2 times R1, right? So that means that then C of, for example, transformation becomes, for example, 1 and 2. And then here you have basically R2 minus 2 times R1, which means that, for example, you can write here 2 minus 2 times R1, which is equal to 1. Again, over here, you can write negative 1 minus 2 times R1, which is equal to 2 here. Write this 2 over here. Okay. And then that is equal to, for example, 1. And this is 2 times 1 is equal to 2. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. That is a 2. And negative 2 times 2 is equal to negative 4, negative 5. So that's basically... That is the whole story here. Now in the next video, we will talk about invertible matrices. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.